accident that interrupts the expected ordinary process of activity. So, ito lang yung tatandaan natin. The four subsystems with the total workplace, within the total workplace system. Okay? PIMI. Madali lang tandaan, PIMI. So, people, equipment, material, and environment. Okay? Meron niyang counterpart na 5M. O, sino makapag uh, na-rate ng 5M? 5M of safety. Anybody? So, PIMI or Mother M. So, dito sa sa first, so P. So, people. What contacts are present that could cause injury or illness or stress or strain? Uh, pwede ba siyang makot on, makot put in, put in between? Pwede siyang ma-struck by, matamaan, fall from, struck against, siya tumama, fall into? What process are likely to down raising? Okay, and safe acts of uh, tragic consequence. Uh, and safe acts. So, uh, may nakalagay caution. So, hindi tumingin sa taas. Ituloy, may nahulog. Ayan, so. When we say people and safe acts, uh, it can be intended or unintended. When we say intended, uh, it can be a mistake or a violation. So, it's a mistake, rule-based, knowledge-based. When you say a violation, routine ba yan? O talagang uh, hindi niya ginawa, exceptional or sabotage. When it is unintended, uh, nag-slip, skill-based, so lack of skill, laps, still, uh, it's lapses, no? skill-based. That's uh, people, other people, check outs. Yan, si ma'am, patulad niya, no? Uh, pwede siya ma-accidente kung... Uh, uh, lack of skill in uh, doing this one. Equipment. So, what are the hazards? Pini, no? Equipment. What are the hazards present by the machines? Okay. What equipment emergencies are most likely to occur? Ano ba yun? So, you must identify that. How might the equipment cause loss of safety? Still on equipment. So, power tools. Maraming accidents sa power tools. Bakit? Dahil na rin sa unsafe act, tinatanggal yung uh, guard. Or mismo yung equipment is defective. Uh, yung kanyang uh, on-on, on-off switch is uh, defective. I have one accident on this uh, bakolod. Uh, while uh, nag-roving ko sa perimeter, bigla nalang may dumuhin. Paparating, no? Gusto naman ba sa side? Sakay ng uh, pick-up. Yung sa likod ng pick-up, may dalawang tao. Isa nakahiga at isa yung nag, uh, nakaalalay doon sa nakahiga. Tinanong ko, ano yung nangyari dyan? So, uh, galing sa hospital, sir, kaya may, may sugat. So, I investigated. Welder pala siya. So, nag-grind siya na kanyang uh, winelding. Tapos, uh, gumagamit siya ng defective uh, equipment. 
yung defect niya is yung on off switch is uh, hindi siya nagfo-function properly. Konting touch lang nag-off at konting uh, touch uh, nag-on siya pero uh, ino-on siya, pinipihit siya eh. Ginawa kanya yung uh, the on button no? uh, para hindi siya mag-turn off or ganyan yung tape. Yun yung problema kasi defective yung uh, equipment, yung uh, grinder. Yung uh, at one time in the morning gusto niya ng uh, lumabas no to to address the call of nature. Nilagay niya yung uh, unsafe condition na. Uh, unsafe act is that hindi niya tinanggal yung uh, cord uh, from the power source. So unsafe, condi- unsafe condition, unsafe act. Isa pang unsafe act, nung papalabas na siya sa uh, room, particular room, nasagi niya yung switch. Kasi nga, defective yung switch, bigla nag-turn on. Nag-turn on siya, hindi nag-turn off bigla, uh, balik, uh, uh, tumakbo yung uh, umandar, kaya... Yung uh, grinder, parang tumakbo doon sa slab. Kasi umandar yung uh, uh, unit eh. Tapos mayroong disc attached to that unit. At nakatouch yung disc sa uh, ground. Tumakbo nga, eh, tumama doon sa uh, metal pipes. Pag tama ng uh, disc, nag- sumabog nga yung uh, nagkapirang-piraso yung disc. So one of the fragment is doon tumama sa kanyang uh, dibdib. Uh, luckily, Meron siyang leather apron na makapal. Meron siyang uh, uh, uniform. Meron pa siyang inner. So, hindi siya, hindi, it, it did not cause uh, fatal accident. Only uh, medical treatment injuries. So, nagkaroon siya ng uh, three stitch uh, laceration wound dito sa dibdib. So, fortunately, yun na nangyari. So, again, unsafe act and unsafe condition. Unsafe condition na yung kanyang uh, Uh, equipment na ginamit plus the unsafe app is sorted to an accident. Okay. Ayan. So, equipment. Any other equipments can uh, unsafe app, unsafe conditions. Meron mga defects. So, it is an unsafe conditions if you are still using it. Materials, no? Harmful materials. Ayan. So, chemicals. Uh, materials that are being uh, uh, no, uh, walang 5S environment uh, potential uh, housekeeping problems Erika tingnan mo naman yung picture na yan eh. napaka delikado lahat lahat hanggang from first to up to uh, yung malayo no? um, ay grasa uh, sleeping, tripping, possible fire pasa Uh, unsafe environment. Same with this, walang proper access, uh, walang arrangement. Hazardous conditions. Okay, so it can be biophysical hazards, mechanical hazards, electric hazards, chemical hazards. Ano ba? Walang body system, no? Nag, uh, nag-grind, uh, no? Yung kanyang flux, doon papunta sa tanki niya. Uh, anybody, ano yung nilalagay sa uh, cutting outfit and also nilalagay doon sa oxygen acetylene para hindi mag uh, uh, magkaroon ng uh, explosion just in case may safety gadget na installed. Safety check. Sa ating one. Oxyacid. Safety bar, safety chip bar. Again, sir, uh, louder, sir. Safety bar, safety bar. Yes, the bulb. Or it can be a chip flashback bar. arrestor. Yeah. Yes, in the form of flashback arrestor. So, nilalagay yan sa... Pag uh, nag-purchase tayo ng flashback arrestor, set yan. Uh, isa para sa, para sa cutting outfit at isa para doon sa tag Yan, no? o, marami pa yan hanggang ngayon. Walang uh, personal fall protection system. Magnanakaw ng kuryente yata po. Yan, so. Inspections tayo, no? Uh, safety, uh, SO1, SO2, SO3, no? they do uh, safety inspections. Uh, 
anybody from the members of the H who is by group, no? uh, group one, group two, group three, group four, group five, group six, para mas ma rami yung makaber. No? Uh, during inspection, sinasabi nga two heads is better than one, so mas ma you're a team during site inspection. So guarding and protecting devices, uh, devices missing or inadequate guards, uh, being uh, against being struck by. Guarding and protection devices. Kailangan merit guards. Structural defects and hazardous condition. Mga sharp edges, slippery conditions, um, uneven, rough, uh, decomposed or contaminated conditions, flammable uh, or explosive characteristics, corroded or eroded conditions. Functional defects, yung mga... Sus uh, susceptibility to breakage, collapse, yung mga functional defects. Work environment, mayroong mga presence of gases, presence of uh, explosive fumes, insufficient illumination, you know, work environment, so that is uh, environmental safety, rule 1070. Excessive noise, work environment. So, no, to, there, there is a guide para, kasi we need a gadget to check for the noise level, no, decibels. But there's a guide, no, the arm strength rule. Kung si Sir, for example, like, kita ko ngayon si Sir Manuel no, Paulino. Pag uh, uh, usap kami ni Sir, wala namang bingi sa aming dalawa. Tapos, uh, yan, dito sa video, arm strength rule. <laughs> uh, within arm strength rule, nag-uusap kami pag uh, uh, Pag tinanong ko siya, tabi, tapos sabi niya, ha? Ano nga yun? So, ibig sabihin, the surrounding environment, the noise level is more than 85, is more than 85 to 90 decibels. So, need na tayo yung magsuot ng uh, ear protection. It can be an earplug or earmuff. Okay? Material storage and personal exposure. So, unsafe storage that permit easy contact by persons with equipment. Unsafe exposure to heat, moisture, vibration, walang PPE. Congestion of traffic or working space. Ang nangyari yan sa site. Ang dami nagtatrabaho ng uh, uh, nagsasanding. Kaya yung floor level na yun, talagang ang alikabok. Tapos walang safety measures. Walang, nag, uh, walang ventilation. Walang uh, exhaust. Buti, buti kung si, mayroong nag, uh, nag-set up ng exhaust system. So, malikabok, mahirap magtrabaho. Hindi mo, walang visual sa site. So, I recommend for uh, temporary stoppage uh, para ma-assess yung situation. Otherwise, yung ating workers, pwede injury, accident, kasi hindi, walang visual, at mataas yung chance for illness. Uh, because nalalanghap nila yung mga Hello? dust. Okay. Yung iba, walang dust mask. Hello? Protruding objects, okay, sa site, uh, usually sa construction, uh, pag uh, nag nag stripping yan, uh, dapat may nakasunod na worker na nag uh, denailing. Otherwise, walang uh, arrangement of materials, nakakalat yung mga, mga plywoods or phenolic boards na merong uh, nails, no? protruding nails. And uh, come rainy season, Ganon, may activity. Yung mga uh, item na yon minsan hindi na ikita dahil na sa ilalim ng tubig and huli na nung nalaman meron parang protruding. So, housekeeping is the key and uh, assigning people to the nail. Faulty ventilation, unsafe traffic layout, housekeeping is uh, terrible. No, improperly secured against sudden, uh, sudden movement. Secured out uh, Walk, uh, walking platforms so walkways ano yun naman yung hazard control hazard control is a system to minimize or eliminate the hazard a written hazard control program should outline which methods are being used to control the exposure okay uh, select and appropriate control involves doing risk assessment 
choosing of control may, uh, method may involve evaluating, selecting temporary and permanent controls, implementing temporary measures until permanent uh, or the engineering controls can be in place, no? implementing permanent controls when this will be practical. So, meron tayong tinatawag na hierarchy of control. Okay? In the eyes of safety, the, in the mindset of safety, ito yung ginagamit. Uh, identification of the hazard. Then, you have the hazard control. So, to control the hazard, ito yung gagamitin, the hierarchy of controls. First is elimination. Okay? Physically remove the hazard is the most effective hazard control. For example, may butas sa slab. Paano natin i-eliminate yun? O, tabunan. O, eliminated na yung uh, hazard. Takpan. Or, if employees must work high above the ground, the hazard of uh, falling from heights can be eliminated by moving the piece they are working on ground level. So, kung pwede sa ground level gawin, so, don't go in. So, that it eliminates the need to work at heights. Substitution naman, example for this is that uh, uh, instead of using oil-based paint na makakakos ng uh, illness, uh, you may use uh, ating uh, water-based. No? Replacing lead-based paint with titanium white to be an effective control. No? Engineering control, ito yung uh, enclosure, isolation, no? barrier. That is engineering or sample of engineering control. Administrative control, ito yung mga na change of procedures uh, for the employees are uh, sent out for training, installation of signages, warning labels, warning signs, uh, completing road construction at night, no? uh, when, uh, when there are few people are Driving, that is uh, administrative control. And the last is PPE. Okay, PPE. Yung ating mga personal protective equipment. Okay, so ito yung uh, hierarchy of controls. The most effective is the yung nasa taas. Hierarchy, yung uh, pinakamataas hanggang sa pinakamababa. Of course, kahit pinakamababa yung PPE, dapat meron yan. But PPE is the least effective uh, why? Bakit siya least effective? Ba't siya tinatawag na least effective? Anybody can uh, any idea? Bakit siya least effective? Yes? Uh, inverted na siya. Inverted triangle. No? Because of course, the greatest the greatest job is first elimination. Mm -hmm. Oh, yun ay pinaka-major. So, minimal na lang ang PIMA PPE. Yes. So, that's, I think that is a reason why it is an important triangle. Yes, the least effective. Okay, thank you, sir. That's correct. And also, uh, to add to that is that, uh, for example, pag uh, nagsuot ka ng helmet, oh, helmet, uh, safety helmet, tapos may nahulog, you're on site, construction, uh, may nahulog na object, no, maliit na object, it will protect you. But uh, kung mahulog, ang, uh, mahulog na object, is malaki, katulad ng power travel, or kung may refrigerator sa taas, biglang nahulog, and it will not protect niyo, kahit may helmet ka. So, meaning to say, uh, the, the PPE is, does not uh, provide full protection. Does not provide uh, full, F-U-L-L, full protection. So, that's it. No? That's why it's called the least effective. Okay, so let's have a short uh, workshop, no? Of hazard identification. Okay, can you please uh, get one piece of paper? I'll get a piece of paper, then uh, uh, ito yung uh, identification of specific health and safety hazards. Okay, so you have here the, uh, a picture no? uh, in which you will identify if it's a safe hack or a safe condition. So, I will put numbers on this, on this no? uh, may, until 20. Then you will uh, 
identify if it's a safe condition or a safe act. Then briefly describe the hazard. And uh, write your answer no? uh, individually a sheet of paper. So, nakalagay ito 5 minutes, but I'll give you 10 minutes. So, ito yung... Uh, ito, may number na. Yan. So, 1 to 20. For example, ito, yan. Uh, number 1, uh, si kinasabi ang safe condition. Ano yung number 1? Ah, hindi naman pertaining na ito. Safe condition. O, oh, yung uh, nasa ilalim. No? Yan. Sinabi niya, wet floor, slippery, sleeping hazard. Can we do this? Sir uh, Redentor? Sir? Hello, sir? Yes, come again. Uh, can we do a workshop? Yes, we can uh, ask them or to those who are willing to participate, we participate. Then, how, how do you want to do that? You want uh, them to I don't know submit? if they know... Uh, Alam ba nila kung paano yung uh, sa breakout room? So, can we have two groups? Wala tayong break, uh, breakout room Ah, dito? wala tayong breakout room. Oh, okay, can, we can use na lang the... Kung ano? Uh, okay, so we have uh, 38 participants. So, minus 2, we have 36. So, 18, no? 18. 18... Uh, attendees. So, can we do the, sa, kung ano lang, sa, al, sa, sa last name? No, last name, if you are uh, A to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, O, K. O, T. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, or oh, L. Oh, yan, L. So, A to L, yung last name, you are group 1. And M to Z, yung last name, you are group 2. Klaro ba? Thumbs up? Okay lang ganun? Two groups. A to L. Baka maraming M. A to L, puro lahat. Oh. Hindi <laughs> 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 ko kung ano, hindi ko makakita yung... I uh, want to want to na lang pero uh, can they turn on their uh, That's okay that's okay uh okay, no? even though it maraming it, it, oh, maraming alayo on maraming A uh, pa, yung no first alphabet yung A B C D E F G uh, kasi maraming A uh, A to G that is group 1 tapos uh, the rest is group 2 uh, G as in good Is it okay? Uh, let's do this. A, apple to goat, that is group 1. The rest is group 2. Okay, so, yung group 1, you will identify uh, you will identify uh, 1 to 20. Uh, 1 to 10. 1 to 10. Uh, nasa screen naman, 1 to 10. Then, uh, 11 to 20, uh, the ones who will identify yung mga nasa, uh, yung last name is uh, nasa H to Z. Sir Redentor, okay ba? Yes, sir? Noted, noted. Then, uh, no, it's okay. Okay, okay. okay, I'll give you, uh, what time is it? Uh, it's uh, 11.05, so can we have uh, 15 minutes? 15 minutes for this. But, uh, medyo para ma-absorb. Uh, no? Tignan pa natin mabuti doon sa screen. So, uh, ito yung template. Ayan, so, um, ayan, ito. So, sulat nyo. Sulat yung pangalan. Tapos yung uh, training. So, mandatory 8 hours. Then... Uh, number 1 for group 1, 1 to 10. No. For group 2 is 11 to 20. So, ilagay nyo yung unsafe act, unsafe condition. At you will describe, uh, briefly describe, bakit siya unsafe act, unsafe condition. Okay.
Okay? So, thumbs up naman dyan para sa mga attendees. Can I see some thumbs up? So, workshop tayo. Ayun, so, Sir Angino. Okay. So, I will now set up the time, no? 15 minutes time. So, and if you have any questions, so you can repeat yourself uh, for uh, your question. Hello. Ano yung instruction nila to do this? Identification, sir. Nang, okay, ano? ito yung instruction. So, uh, ano yung Identify instructions? each number. No, uh, Group 1 is uh, item 1 to 10 and group 2 is item 11 to 20. So, identify each number if it is unsafe act, unsafe condition, and briefly describe uh, what is the hazard. Okay. Uh, right now, uh, you can picture, no? uh, picture nyo, uh, you take a picture on the screen for this uh, instruction. So later on, I will uh, oh, I put this uh, my uh, my items number one to twenty. Okay, so I give you uh, I'll count to five, no? Uh, picture, uh, one, two, three, four, four and a half, four and three fourths, five. Okay, now let's. Like Move to the next it? slide. Oh, uh, okay. Take a uh, picture this out uh, para ma alam nyo kung ano yung uh, situation na uh, you will identify this unsafe act or unsafe condition or unsafe condition or unsafe act. Take note, there are instances, there are some of these na it is both, both unsafe act and unsafe condition. <coughs> okay, so timer starts now. So five, ten, fifteen. So uh, you will be presenting, no? Uh, I will call someone from uh, the group. Siguro dalawa, dalawa from the group to present and there. Uh, output so randomly okay. after Sige. timer starts now 11 10 on my clock will end at 11 35 Okay, the picture out niya ba? Na, you have already taken the picture, no? Uh, it's the timer.
มาเอาแรงงานเห็นมาหายเ
Hello Sir Manuel Paulino. Hello Sir. Hello Sir. Ah, meron ba tayong kwanza? Hello. Oh. Uh, ano yung kwanza? Ah, oh, asa na ka? Eh, yung one ka? Yes. Yeah, so, I'm sorry, sir. So, I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir.